True. Let's give it a look. True. Yeah. Pretty sure it loops back around, though. Yes, this one does. Where was the other passage? Uh, near the entrance. It's like an offshoot. The other offshoot is the one. Isn't that the one that we searched already? I I searched that one, but I. Pride is convinced there's yeah. something more to it. That maybe I overlooked. If you want, if you uh, want to check it out, but I mean, there's like no evidence of something here, anyways. Uh, I'll do an investigation check. Okay, so you're gonna take a look around this. <gasps> hallway. Okay, so Byron, you get over... I'm just gonna drag your token, okay? Yeah. You get over here and you noticed like, when you guys were kind of far away, no one really took a second look at it. It was... It's almost camouflaged in a way to blend in with the cave, but this is definitely a doorway. Nice. Hmm. Alright, yeah. uh... Pride, can I see that pick of yours again? Um, I'll change into a war pick and then hand it to him. I mean, there are actually like handles. Like oh. it's a it's a very well camouflaged set of. Oh, okay. In that case, um, I will kick it open. Okay. Um, it doesn't. Stub <laughs> doesn't... my toe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have, you you have to pull it open, um, <laughs> and. You find that it actually this is like a like a secret escape or something, it leads back to the entrance. Or a way to get around the trap that they had laid. Something like that. Oh shit, would we have seen this if we were sleeping? If we had investigated. If you had it, rolled an investigation check in the room and rolled high, you would have found the door, yeah. No, I, I mean no, no no, I mean like if they had used us to get out, would we have noticed them getting through here like Definitely, um, you sealed off the front and the back. You probably they probably yeah. tried that, yeah, and there was still this large ass thing in the way. Oh shit! So they, it's possible oh, they just walked have... around us and we're like, "Fuck, we can't get out." And they left. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So it, people should check their loot. Can we like do a perception check to see if we even robbed it all? Uh, we could have died last night. True. <laughs> uh. I think the warthog would have. I guess not. Yeah, after all, see them. Um, there's two guard dogs too. So, I mean, we would have heard that. Right. I mean, they they may well have not even come. True. Uh, come around to look. You did just two. massacre like dozens of them, so they're probably terrified of engaging with uh, you. Too scared. Yeah, maybe so. Um, okay, so, with that out of the way, you guys reconvene in this kind of center room. <sighs> What's the hmm. plan? You guys uh, tell Spitz to continue to yeah. watch or whatever, make sure that you're not ambushed. Especially since it's kind of weird that no one came hunting for you. Um, oh boy, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I stop right here and I call back. I'm trying to drive my, drag my guy up. Yeah, so Byron, Byron <laughs> heads up the hallway and he sees that they have once again amassed a sort of defensive posture. There's more? Like, Byron, how many do you see? <laughs> uh, not as many, but they're a lot bigger. Okay. And I roll for initiative. Know. Yeah, definitely. Circle of death, this boys. We're gonna need it. Oh, I'm nah. fucking late. Okay. I just uh, gotta get up there first. I can't catch up. Dimension door. Come on. Uh, oh. Yeah, I wish I could dimension door my fucking PC. Okay. I am actually going to try and speed this up for myself and do group initiative for each specific type of unit. You know, a little more dangerous to you guys, but I... This combat is starting to drag on, okay? Oh. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I, I prefer it this way. Honestly, you could probably just do group initiative for all, but that would probably be really dangerous, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. They could, like, one... Maybe not as much for you, but for, like, Clark <laughs> or someone? Yeah. Okay. Everyone good? We got Casey in here? I mean... I'm still not up to where I want to be, but 
Yeah, I'm saying for initiative. All right, it seems like. Okay, Pride, you go at the top of the round. Byron says, "Holy shit, we got some people." Okay, I'm going to use my Mystic Arcanum free six level spell slot cast. This guy basically puts stone armor on me, and um, Wait. I get resistance to the physical attacks. And I can, can do earthquake moves. Is that able to go over your armor that you have already? So it, sp it spreads across your body. I, I assume it's over the, the armor, but I guess up to the DM's discretion if you want me to take my armor off before I use that. I guess it doesn't say you can't, so. Yeah. So to heal. Oh. You can move through solid earth or stone as air with the hmm? it, but you can't. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, okay. holy shit, I didn't know that. I can walk through the wall. Yeah, yeah, you can. Oh my god. Um, cool, no, bro. It's All like right. a it's, Yeah, it's. Okay, it's not even difficult terrain to move through like solid earth. What the fuck? Whatever. Damn, um, D and D is whack. <laughs> hey, I'm. Okay. Go on yeah, the yeah, walls, guys. No. Oh, I guess the. Oh, the walls not, are both for that. Okay. It's not. It's not. We're not gonna say it's armor. It's more like st how stone skin works. You know what I mean? You're like, covered in like stony floor. Okay. Do Holy shit, that's against, a really good spell. It's slashing from non-magical attacks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, here's what I do. Just so I don't have to walk through walls. So I'll. Um, I'm gonna walk like, go underground and just be like right below Byron's level where my head is, and I'll just walk <laughs> below everybody. <laughs> It's like the fucking stand sanctuary or something. Okay, so um, you're gonna have to use some movement to get down beneath him. We'll sure, like, probably like five feet of movement to just five, get down five feet. Okay, twenty-five left. And, and, 10, 20, and then you're gonna need five more to get back up if you want. Well, you don't no, want to end your turn. I don't, why not? What? Why would I want to end my turn there? No, you don't want to end your turn underground. Oh, but you can't end your move here. Oh, fuck. Okay, damn, that doesn't make it- that's not nearly as good. Yeah, it would be overpowered. <laughs> no, it's still good. Like, it's Yeah, that's still so good. good. But, I'd, I'd recommend just standing side by side so they can't get past us. That way sure. they could just- we could just blast them through sure. our doorway. Okay, I'll, I'll walk- I'll not reveal that I can go underground and stay above ground. Sure. Unless of iron. Okay. That sounds good. Byron. Your turn. I am going to. Shh, haven't gotten up to us yet, so. <sighs> okay. Throw. So we haven't established what happens when I throw down like a uh, alchemist fire on the ground. I think we did that once, but that was because of misreading. But if you throw it at someone, it just keeps burning. But if I throw it in the area in effect, does it just occupy one square or does it occupy multiple squares? Because uh, that's not addressed inside the description. I was if thinking. If it's meant for a single target and you throw it, it'll occupy a single. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can I throw down two at once? No. Because if it's going to. I can use two op. Uh, manipulate two objects at once, though. With Due to my uh, dual wielding feet. So I'm thinking. Yeah, but that's for weapons. Yeah. I don't think it says, like. But I'm not aiming at a target. I'm just trying to hit a square. In just two separate squares, in this case. Yeah, it's a little bit too gamey for me. Like, it's not. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? They're trying to. They're trying to qualify it as weapons, and you're trying to say these these like flasks are weapons, and they're not weapons by D and D fifth edition standard. Okay, so I'm going to move up, feet, toss a potion of fire at this big boy, and then I'm going to move back. Okay. So it's gonna it says longbow, but it's just a potion. Sure. So you hit it. Yes. And it's going to take D6 fire damage uh, mm -hmm. pretty much forever. Forever. Unless until, it it takes an, until it takes an action to extinguish right. itself. 
<laughs> it's not going to do that. Save. Okay. Probably not. Good to know. Okay. So roll me the damage. Okay, four fire damage. And then I will give it a little flame icon. Is that the beginning or end of its turn it takes fire damage? Uh, let me check. Anyway, um, the Pack Lord. Does he have. Mm, no, but he can move to get vision. He moves around and takes a couple longbow shots at you, Byron. Both of them missing, hopefully. Casey's turn. Let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, he moves up over here. And. Um, what would you guys like? You want him to take shots at the burning warg? Yep. Yes. Okay. Normal. Go ahead and roll those shots, if you would. All right. I got it. Um, I think anyone can do it, actually, if you click on him. and you click on his... Uh, I think Tilly made I nice macros for us. Yeah, yeah. I just, I just yeah. would prefer not to myself. but. Um, sure. Yeah, and I'm looking at something right quick. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Uh, the 13 will do it. Uh, it the other one will miss, but it does take six piercing damage from Casey's short attack. Uh, and furious that it's on fire and taking shots from bows, dashes down this hallway and takes a bite at Byron, who hurled that crap at it, and uh, will not be able to connect. The other wargs also move in, cluttering this hallway, scrambling to try and you know, be able to feast upon your flesh, but this is like the hot gates, you know? They aren't going to be able to do much. This is going to be a bloodbath, bro. They do not stand a chance. Yeah, pretty much. Um, Welcome to the meat grinder. Pretty much. Hmm. The uh, Death Knight holds action. The Knoll takes a shot at Byron. He's over here, takes a shot. That's a miss, and Clark's turn. Well, um, I think, uh, let's see if I can do it. Okay, um, I can't. Click on the spot right now. What the fuck? Uh, I'm gonna lay down a hunger fedar right there. Okay. Let me grab that stupid. I didn't delete it this time, so it's the right size. Uh, where do you actually want it? Like here? Yeah? No? Uh, moved up a Two. little bit. It should be, yeah. So you don't right. want it to hit the war that's on fire in front of Byron? No, I do. I do. Okay, well, is this is where right. it has to be to hit him. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Okay. Cool. Alrighty. Do you want to move or hold your ground? Uh, I will move up a little bit here. Okay. The archers are confused by the chaos of this swirling, maddening mass of tentacles. There's like some slurping, some like chuckling, can't see anything in there. Uh, they just launch a blind volley, which is not probably going to work very well. Um, miss, 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 miss. Miss, miss. They're firing at disadvantage. And. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're firing at disadvantage. They're not hitting. They're hitting the wall. The sh random shit. Um, no natural ones, so. Not hitting their allies either. Um, Witherling's whole position. Rolf, your turn. You actually didn't miss anything, so. Oh my! <clears throat> Here, 
Oh my god. <laughs> You can't see anything beyond your two allies. But you can Indeed. hear the growling of menacing large creatures. And the slurping of tentacles. Uh, I guess I I ready an Eldritch Blast in case something comes out of that slurpy. Sure. <coughs> Initiative. Summon the slurpies. Release the howl. Pathetic. Uh. Okay. Cool. Good. Byron, you go at the top of the round. You can no longer see your quarry, but you can hear it and smell it. You can smell the burning flesh. Nasty burning bristles of hair. And I cannot hear you if you are speaking. Oh, sorry about that. I uh, just make some uh, attacks at disadvantage then. Okay. That'll go better for you than it will for them, General. Nope. Nope. I spoke too soon. Uh, you are engaged in melee, so you will be hitting your friend here. Um, you swing wide and <laughs> you cut I thought pride. That was just for. Uh... Oh, it's for range and uh, melee as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, we just don't do that very often. Yeah. Or we haven't. That hasn't happened very often. It hasn't. Know, and spread out. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I guess you strike him. Um, so, it is a magical weapon, unfortunately. So, you do take the full 15 damage. Oh, uh, no. Oh, that burns, bro. Yeah. Um, would you like to try again? Yeah, I'll keep swinging. Okay. Oh yeah, and it just manages. Mm-hmm. So. All right. Ooh, nice. you, you feel your weapon connect for nine damage. Three, and three. then, okay. And you strike it again. And you continue to strike it um, with another natural one. Oh wait, yeah, I just hit pride. So six more damage. Yeah, six more damage, Pride. The rapier is not magical, though. No, it's not. So you take half damage. So three. Does resistance stack? Like, if I got another source of resistance, or is it same no. as the advantage? No, it does not yeah. stack. Dude, fuck 5e, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck him for taking away all the instant death shit. I haven't played that. I don't know about that, but I just want to stack dumb spells and do stupid shit. Yeah. I'm saying it's pretty good not to be instantly killed by yeah, shit. I, yeah, I figure the price of doing overpowered shit is overpowered shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's definitely the friendliest addition to new players and players in general, to be honest, but mm. in terms of survivability. All right. Um, you're pretty confident you've killed it, though. Nice. Nice. Because, uh... Suddenly you hear it stop growling, and you hear creatures trying to, like, scramble, scramble past. So, it dies. Um, and, um, volleys, I suppose, of archers. Let's do it. I don't think they're ever going to hit you. What's your AC? Like, 18? My AC? Yeah. Yeah, uh, 20. Yeah, see, like, with. They are gonna hit you, like, they could. Oh, finally, this one does. Um, a wild shot hits you for six normal piercing damage. Okay. Well, Arm, what if you the shove them on the ground, and then. Or one of us shoves them, and then the other person hits them? Maybe it'll be easier to hit them. You'd have to see it first, and yeah. honestly, we could probably right. kill it faster than doing that. So I don't know, maybe. True. Pride, it is your turn. Um, he's far away. I don't know if I can hold him. You have no idea where he is, anyway. Um, true. Please don't teleport. I mean, I'm he could very to... well be right here. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess I, if I can't meta game. Oh, um, would I have known Byron killed the thing in front of me? Is that is that aware to me? Am I aware of that? If I know, then he knows. Because okay. it's based on like it stops growling, shouting, and stuff like that. So I'd imagine he probably would. So then, would it be? Yeah, I agree with that. Would it be reasonable for me to assume that if that one's dead, then I have a spare moment to use a spell instead of attacking Bowling to the Darkness? Or do you think that's still metagamey? A moment to. What do you mean? Let's say, like, if I know they're going to fall in through, through a hallway, right? And then okay. I'm, we're going to keep slashing even though we can't see it. Let's say if we know we kill one, we know we have some time before the second one comes up. So I know if I attack, I'll miss anyways. So it would make sense to do something else without attacking. Does that make sense? Um, if you think that pride is... That's what where pride's head at, then sure. The snide would totally yeah. do that. I okay. think it's up to you. I, I don't think there's yeah. any major reason why you wouldn't think that's a good idea. Okay. Right. Cool. Then I will um, true strike. Get ready for next turn. Sure. <laughs> Alright. The uh, wargs continue to funnel in. At this point, you definitely know... God damn it. I have, this is why I moved dead tokens off, because I can't like click one over the other. Um, so at this point, you know there's another one, because it takes a bite at Byron. Um, 17 is not going to cut it. Kalark. Uh, this is where mass combat gets a little bit weird. I have to roll dex saves for each of them because they're all starting their turn. Just and group roll that. Okay. Just group roll it. Yeah, I mean, you could. Yeah, but then they all fail or all pass and like yeah, just uh -huh. roll multiples just at once. And just pick and choose. Like okay, 10 so D20s or something. One oh. of them passes. Uh, give me the 2D6. Okay. Oh, wow. just, okay. sorry, just 1D6. 1, 2D6. Uh, I guess we can roll it separately. It's just going to take a lot longer. Fuck it. I'll just, I'll just do... I'll do it all at once. This is much easier. This shit. Yeah, all at once. Okay. Casey's turn. Cannot see anything. Um... I don't even think you can do a blind shot right now, right? I mean, he can always do a blind shot. It's a matter yeah. of what. I saw you use a sniper blind shot to spam the hallway. I don't know if it makes sense to do a sniper shot, though, if you're blind. Just yeah, uh, you can... meta wise, because, like, a sniper shot is like you're aiming for some vitals. Oh, and yeah. And if you're that's blind, true. then it's kind of gamey. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, then he would just do normal. Fair enough. Right. So just well, fire two random like rolling at minus ten. If you're rolling it, to hey, it's pretty good. All right, fourteen and twenty-five. Uh, yes, that is correct. So it's two hits. Ten. The creature growls in pain. Rolf, your turn. Ooh wee. I still can't see anything in front of me. Um, I also need another Clark. I need another two to be six roll, ending their turn in this mass of bullshit. Just you want me to do just one? Yeah, I just want you to do one because this okay. is ridiculous. Can it be not that one? Mm, <laughs> sorry, no. Damn. You rolled high on the last one, and I destroyed them all with it. Yeah, big trick. So I still can't see anything in front of me. Correct. Uh, yeah, I guess I still ready an Eldritch Blast if one pops through. Just fireball where you know there probably should be. <laughs> Just fireball into the blackness? Yeah, I mean... Fuck it, why not? Honestly, Byron you could... You can! Byron could communicate, you know, that there were a bunch of them back there just fucking AOE. Yeah. Alright, I guess I'll just, just lob a fireball back there. Uh... All 
close or regular? Uh, regular. I rolled a d10. Okay. You're not gonna upscale, it's just gonna be a third level spell? Yeah. Okay. Uh... Oof. Okay. Uh, well, I guess since we're doing all or nothing with this mass combat shit, they will all pass. <laughs> Neat. I can live with that. Way to prove your point, DM. Yeah, hey. That's the way it grumbles. <laughs> That's why it's typically kind of shitty yeah. to do it this way, but it is faster. So, um, he will die. This one dies. Uh, um, and it's a very unpleasant sound of <laughs> these wolf-like creatures howling and screaming, burning pain. about done okay Clark you see him huck a fireball into the cloudy mass and um, yeah presumably things died what do you do uh, next up I will go ahead and cast synaptic static behind that So, so like right there ish. I don't know how it works to be able to like cast beyond. You know what I mean? Like cast spells I, where you can't see. I can see. Oh, Clark can see I can it. see through that shit. That's such bullshit. Yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. This isn't like it's not even it's magical darkness. You can it's see magical, magical darkness, dark. but I can see through magical darkness. So. Oh my god. Okay, just just do whatever you want, you OP bastard. Yeah, that's what I made for. It. Okay, so you're doing another twenty foot bullshit thing. Yes. Jesus Christ. My roll 20 is freaking out. <clears throat> so it'll be based there, so it's hitting. It's kind of overlapping in here. Yeah, it's going to be about this side. <clears throat> so where do you want it? Like centered right there. So move it backwards like 20 yards. Basically, like, okay. straight back 20 yards. And I think it's over 5 or so because I'm... Because of my line of sight is diagonal. It needs to be a little bit bigger. This side. Yeah. Okay. So... Like that? Uh... Sorry, let me look at MT bot because I can't actually see it. Uh, except well, for the little sliver. Well, yeah, yeah, you can't, Clark. You can't see through walls and shit. Look where you are. I know. I've got, I've got that thin little sliver, so that's where it's centered on. But uh, looking at MTV, that looks about right. So I'm Holy sure shit, it does. That, that's a lot of mud. <laughs> uh, yeah. I I don't have MTV screen pulled up. I just have. I can see it, but it's small on the OBS. That's pretty good. That's a lot of, that's okay, a lot of damage. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, Should have circled the death. Fuck. Can you, like, move up behind Rolf or Casey at least so you have a better angle? I don't like where you are casting it. Sure. Okay. So, synaptic static. Uh, 20 foot radius. Yeah, make an intelligence saving throw. Feature intelligence to it. Okay. So yeah, that's fine. Uh, failed save half as much. Okay. Okay. So we need to make some mass saves. 
Um, this is intelligence. Hmm? They don't have very good intelligence, so good luck getting an 18 or whatever it is, right? Oh, it's still in the car. Uh, I think they're all failing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they all fail. Okay. So, roll the damage. Oh my god. Uh, 8d6, right? Okay. So this one... Uh, what kind of damage is it? It's like a... a psychic. psychic? Okay. Uh, dead, dead, dead. Yeah, these guys are all dead pretty much. Um, I don't know. Like, did, what, do their brains explode? <laughs> like, what is... Death by Ye psychic damage? Yeah, I mean, it's like, like stabbing. Hemorrhage? So like, yeah, they're brains just hemorrhage and they're like they're all squinting in pain aneurysm. I'll get like massive headaches and yeah just like a migraine that splits open their fucking heads I guess so even the undead I don't know how that works but okay they're not immune James. it doesn't say so mm -hmm. um almost nothing's immune to psychic damage they should be though that's stupid no. yeah they also don't they have don't zero have intelligence which gives them bullshit immunity so Oh, it did say something about that. Does Can't it? be affected by the spell. What's the intelligence of an undead no? Not good. Maybe two. Maybe lower. I'm gonna look. Man, they're not no, that dumb, are they? Not, it, no, eight. they're not actually. They should be though. I mean, they're smarter they are, than horses they are. They are zombies. <laughs> That's so stupid. Whatever. <laughs> oh my god. Whatever. They die. Uh, and so do the wargs who are caught up in this uh, DP of your <coughs> madness. DP of the null army. Yeah. Okay, so the creatures that uh, don't die, uh, aka just the knight, uh, have a penalty to attacks and ability checks. So they have to roll a d6. Okay. Got it. Well done, Clark. Uh, Knowles? No, they're dead. Uh, this one's alive. Mm, hold action, I guess. What's fucking gonna do? So this guy's dead. Alright, initiative. That's a lot of mobs. It's a lot of damage. I don't even know they're dying either. I think we just kill like a whole race of mobs. Like, I think it's fair. exterminated. Yes. Yeah. You suddenly hear it's like <laughs> Obi Wan Kenobi, where he suddenly feels the crying out of millions of creatures. <laughs> just wrench. Oh yeah, just I was thinking about that. Also, what that the was hell? Cool. You don't like you don't like my references, Dre? <laughs> Get with it. No, not you, not you. The the, the that scene in particular <laughs> sucks. It yeah, makes sense in the canon. Um, Anyways. yeah, so you just hear a bunch of creatures screaming in pain and dying, and you're confident that somebody did something. One of your spellcasters. Um, you guys roll? You're all good? Yes, sir. Hey, yep. okay. Rolf, no surprise, you go first. No worms. Mm. Uh... I guess I just shoot wildly into the into the blackness with Eldritch Blast. Okay. You can do that. <laughs> what could go wrong? Okay. Miss. Well, I, it's, you're shooting at disadvantage, so the first one was oh. two, actually. It's a miss. Then we have the 20 and I need another one. <clears throat> Okay, so that actually does hit. Not bad. Bring down a warg. Maybe not that you know, but it does die. I uh, I give him a good solid nod every time he hits something. Cause I can just... see it. Yeah, just shooting into the darkness. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and I guess you bring down another one. You're just like shooting, you know. <laughs> and, um, it's kind of working. 
Neat. Pride. You guys are just basically shelling this void of tentacles and things are dying. What do you want to do? It's magic artillery. Yeah. The Nola cost. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Stop. Stop, please. <laughs> Stop killing my mobs. <laughs> Pride, do you do anything? Sorry, I was talking the entire time, stupid. Um, I was gonna walk underground, but um, can I see above the ground? Like, do I know when to surface, when it's safe, or would I just kind of guess? Mm. How do we want to handle that if I have to guess? It doesn't say anything about having, like, what do they call that? Like, ground vision? No, stone the, vision? there's a, tr isn't it, Byron, what is it fucking called? There's like a- Blind vision? No, there's a T word. It's like a tremor vision or some shit. Oh yeah, tremor vision. Uh, That's what it is. Yeah. Vision. You don't have that. It doesn't say you have that. So you're <clears throat> blind. You're going through the So, how, if I want to run forward and surface at a random point, how do we want to like do that? If this, you just use your judgment. I mean, you yeah. can roll forward, but if you try to go inside of a wall and you get lost, then you're kind of fucked. Yeah. So like, how how do I like how do we play that out in the game? Like, do I would I make a investigation check would we i don't even i don't even know where no to go with that. no are you trying to get all I, the way past it yes so how i mean i could like guide him oh you could just scream at me go that way no, wait he has to see him to use a wicked mind though right but he can see through the oh we can't see through the ground <laughs> no uh, no yeah, but, but i can tell you i can tell you how far like approximately yeah, how I can be, far like, go it is 40 till yards. you're safe yeah yeah, yeah. These are measured in feet, by the way, not yards. Sorry, yeah, I can, 40 feet. Okay, so with his direction, could it, would I be able to walk through that? Then... So he can tell you, he can tell you the size of his of his tentacle mass. He could say like, yeah, it's you know, 20 you by 20 or tentacles. whatever, and then you have to make a judgment call on if you can get past it or not. Okay, um, then I'm gonna move 50 feet. I'm gonna go down five, move up 50, and then come up five. Leave me five left. Sure. Let's see, uh, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. All right, so I'm in this block, and I come up, and I'm completely blind, I guess. Um, Where, you're, oh, I see. Okay. Why can't you just come up the thing? I just I went straight forward, assuming like it would be a, a thing up. Here. Well, you're not in the middle of the tentacle. Am I seeing this wrong? No, he didn't move uh, himself all the way. He Wait, said he was it should be back right here, right? Yeah. Or, yeah, exactly. Right here. Yeah. Okay. They, I couldn't see that. I was okay. trying to walk through this thing. That's why. Okay. All right. Cool. I surface here. Uh, five of it left. So then I walk here. Um, <laughs> bonus action. I'll go ahead and curse this guy. Okay. You curse him. <laughs> Tell him us where. Uh, Byron, the strangest. Well. You've seen a lot of strange things, but one of the strangest things you've ever seen was a two-headed Goliath just suddenly meld into the stone or the earth and just kind of walk away. He 360 and walk okay. the other way. Does it yeah. look like a Bugs Bunny type tunneling, or is it like a uh, just if the ground becomes like water? Yeah, it's more like the latter. He kind of just becomes one with the earth. Hell yeah. The, yeah. Come on with the girth. Mm-hmm. Very strange. And it leaves you here with, uh, you know, a tentacly mass thing in the between you and whatever else is on the other side. So, what is your plan here? Oh, shit. Um, I look back to Clark and say, can you just turn that off? I think... <laughs> turn that shit out, boy! I Like, I, I can guess. hear, like, a, a <laughs> audible lack of sound now, right? Like, I can There's... It's gotten a lot less quiet. Yeah, you hear the the, the cries of uh, creatures that are still dying and whatever, but uh, yeah, there's there's clearly not much left. There was a lot of noise, <laughs> and now there's not much at all. All right, just yeah, the yeah. sound. Of well, yeah, and if I don't see anything in it, I'll I'll just turn it off. Uh, you do. There's still a work that's alive in here. Oh well, if I still hear it like screaming and yelling, I because I can't yeah see it. Well, you both do. So I'm fucking leaving it up. Uh, Why can't you see it? Until I... Yeah, you should be able from to see I, it. From where I'm standing, I don't see it. 
Oh, it's at an angle? Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. But That's he can uh, see, uh, like, into more. here, right? And there's just a lot less satellite. Right. Yeah. Clark knows yeah, there's yeah. not much left. There's just Clark, bodies just, everywhere. Can you just go ahead and turn that off? I don't know. If, I think we're pretty much good by now. He has to do it on his turn. Though. Yeah, <laughs> so I guess I'll ready in action to attack anything that comes around the corner once he turns it off. Okay. Um... This, uh, Witherling, wow, lag, uh, it comes over to you, Pride and Snide, and tries to attack, uh, with a bite and a club. The bite is a natural 20, for 9 piercing damage, which- the fuck off me, it's, is it rounded down or rounded up? What? Is it rounded down or rounded up? Uh, if it's, it's always, if it's round, number, always round down. Always round down, okay, that's good. Yeah. Uh, and the club is a miss. I don't know why you're rolling saving throws, but because it's a it's a concentration spell. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. So you yeah you fail unfortunately. No, I, I get advantage because of the fucking warcaster. Oh, nice. See, Whoa. that's a great feat. I always recommend it. So good. Okay, then never mind. But you do take the three damage. Uh, Wait, that was four, right? Because they did nine or. Yes, sorry. Four. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, what do you want Casey to do, Byron? And I guess Snide, though you're kind of less involved here. Probably ready in action when the smoke clears or the tentacles clear. You can get. Yeah. Place. Also, why is he all the way up here? I don't know. Where do you want him to be? Uh, actually, I think yeah, right here is fine. But like yeah, that's this where is he inside was, the so. right? Uh, yeah. Okay, so he's yeah. It's. Well, he was right here, but. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Yeah. You can place him wherever you want, and you want him to ready a shot. Mm-hmm. Okay. The war warg is going to now instantly die because it has one HP left and it's still taking damage from Clark's abilities. Okay, I wouldn't bother rolling it then. It is strangled by your tentacles, Clark, and you. S yeah. I guess you don't see it happen. Gas for his Here, last breath. You, you hear it happen. Cracking and popping of bones. Um, the knight just uh, saw this massacre for the second time of his life and is going to once again retreat. No, oh, man. We need to keep Coward. that guy alive. Coward. Okay. Clark, your turn. Alright, I'll dismiss it so that everyone can get through. Great. Um, and then I will move up. Okay. I guess uh, that's as far as I can move. Mm hmm. Alright. Uh, I only see the one, so I'm going to Eldritch Blast that guy. Sure. Do it. Roll a one while you're at it, will you? And then roll another one, and then you'll hit Pride and Snide. Well, that angle does not hit me, bro. There's no way. Oh, you got, you have, like, half cover, <laughs> which, uh, half cover, because of my awesomeness, uh, doesn't mean shit, and I'll full-on hit you anyways. True. <laughs> it's Clark oh we're God, talking about here. I, can't, I don't know why I can't click it. I mean... It's gonna die... So yeah, if you just want to assume it dies and I don't hit Pride and Snide, that's cool. This is pretty much a formality at this point, but <laughs> I mean, I can I can roll for guess. We're yeah, rolling so. to see how fast the bone shards fly out at Shards yeah. Snide's face. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I can go to your sheet and do it, I suppose. Eldritch Blast! Yeah, well, now my game's responding, but my sheet's not. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, wow, now I see about 50 of them. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, I kept pressing. <laughs> no, nice. machine gun. Just fucking lay no into surprise. him. Yeah. It's dead. And once again, we have left initiative for the moment. Alright, should we go back to the start and uh, build a wall and wait again? And do that all again tomorrow? Make the for it, yeah. 
I'm chasing this guy down, bro. I'm sure this boy won't. Come uh, back here. Pride. No. Okay, just, just hold on. I know okay. we're not an initiative, but if we encounter a situation where you charge for, and there's about 50 things around the corner, roll initiative, and the rest of the party is 90 feet behind you. True. So just, okay, just I won't please. Do that. Basically, what I did the last few rounds. <laughs> 